Welcome back to our Onshape tutorial series. Today we're going to take a look at two common methods of 3D modeling, one of them called the additive method and one of them called the subtractive method. Now as you gain more experience and you start building more complex shapes, you will come to find yourself using a combination of both of these to make your parts. So it's important for you to understand how they work and what they are. We're going to take a look at both of these methods by building just a very basic staircase. We're going to start with the additive method, so I'm going to create a sketch on my front view here. And in doing this, what I'm going to build is just a simple rectangle. I'm going to start here. I'm going to build a two inch by half inch rectangle. And when I finish this sketch, I'm going to go ahead and extrude it. And I'm going to extrude it two inches. Let's go ahead and select that. So two inches. Now with the additive method, we're going to build up. So I started by making the base of my shape and I'm going to add to it. So I'm going to create a sketch on the top view now. And in creating that sketch in the top view, I'm going to get a rectangle. I'm going to come up here to this corner and I'm going to come down. I'm going to get across two inches and I'm going to move my mouse over here and type 1.5 so that that way I have a 1.5 by two inch square or rectangle. I'm going to extrude that shape and I'm going to extrude it 0.5. Notice I'm using the add um, section of my extrude menu. Now I'm going to go ahead and create another shape on top of it. And this time, instead of two by one and a half, I'm going to go two by one. Finish that shape. I'm going to extrude this 0.5. And now we're going to create another sketch on this section. And this time I'm going to do it only 2 by 0.5. And I happen to hit just 0.5 because it was exactly half. So that works out well. Let's finish that sketch and extrude this to finish my staircase. Now this was done using the additive method. You'll notice I started with absolutely nothing, but I slowly added pieces to make the final product. So let's take a look at the subtractive method. I'm going to go ahead and create another sketch on my um, front view. And in doing this, let's rotate around. I'm going to make my subtractive method over here. This time, instead of a small rectangle, I'm going to make a full square. So I'm going to go ahead and make a two inch by two inch square here. And then when I extrude this, I'm going to extrude that shape two inches. So I'm going to make actually the whole cube first. So the hallmark difference between the additive and subtractive method is how you approach making the final model. So since I use the additive method by building up and the subtractive method, I'm going to carve away. I'm going to create a sketch on the top here. And before I started in the upper left when I was adding, now I'm going to start down here in the lower left. And I'm going to go two inches across. And then I'm going to make this one 1.5. So let's rotate out and I'm going to extrude this section, but this time instead of adding, I'm going to click on this remove portion. And in the remove tab, I'm going to change this to 0.5. So I've cut away half an inch from this section. I'm going to go ahead and create another sketch, make another rectangle. And this time I'm going to make my rectangle so it is one. And I'm going to remove material I'm going to remove half an inch. One more sketch to make here. And this one should be easy because I need to just go halfway. So I'm just going to find my halfway point right there. And let's go ahead and rotate that back out. We're going to extrude this piece by removing half an inch of material. And there we go. Now I have another staircase. You'll notice that in both of these methods, the final product ended up looking identical in the end. So if we look at it from different angles, we see that there is no difference between them other than their color. And that's an important concept. With simple shapes such as these, you might be able to make the entire shape using only one method. But as you start exploring complex shapes, you will not be able to use just a single method, but a combination of methods to create the final product. You will see both techniques used as we explore more complex designs in our tutorial series. So consider setting some additional goals for yourself. Practice making some basic designs using both methods so you can become familiar with each one as you grow your own 3D modeling skills. Thank you for watching and feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of our other tutorials here at MythBadger Videos.